right. So we've we've launched an, another fund. It's a small syndication. And he really is excited about this, even though he does. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you bet. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about. I'm I'm in the corner. So you keep baby in the corner. That's right. <laughs> nobody gets baby in the corner. Uh, after COVID, we looked at ways for our company and our investor, investors uh, to, to take of other deals that are out there because right. the, the the landscape has changed. Yes. Well, and, and how has the landscape changed? I'm going to jump in and talk to you faster. That's good. Thank uh, you. With more enthusiasm. <laughs> yes. How has landscape, landscape changed? <laughs> winners of 2020 and so far 2021 are multifamily. Mm. Um Multifamily sales have hit record numbers never before seen. Um, so those are the big winners. And how can we, we help our investors and help other people um, get into those asset classes? And Because not everyone has $10 million to go, oh, let me go buy a, a multifamily right. ap apartment or, or do I have tw $2 million to put down? So uh, we have structured a way to do debt offerings uh, for um, for multifamily, where it allows you to participate in in that offering, and you can get out get outside. What yes. does debt offering mean? Uh, debt offering means that you are receiving simple interest as your compensation uh, for your contribution, as opposed to an equity contribution. And and do I need an accredited investor to get into this? Yes, you, this? yes, you do. So you can still be the bank and still be in a uh, we call it a closed in fund that is a, a piece of a syndication. Mm -hmm. They are going to last, last anywhere from 24 months to five years. Typically. Months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on the project. And we are dealing with people that we've known for years. Yes. That have, our done this, have done this, uh, have a really good track record. Mm -hmm. The sponsor, with us too. the sponsor, I believe owns over 4,000 doors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's not, not just this particular sponsors, but others. Mm -hmm. We also uh, are doing these for uh, self-storage. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, assisted living facilities. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, some of them are going to be uh, development mm -hmm. projects. Some, most of them, however, are going to be value add uh, projects. Right. And yeah. What we mean by value add, it's no different than, Fix and flip. It's just on a larger scale. Well, and, and think about it like the land price, like the buy in price to, to do anything in real estate now is really high, really high. You cannot go and build B and C level apartments. That's right. You can't do it. The numbers just can't work right. anymore. You can't buy the land. Yeah, yeah. you can't buy the land. Like that's the acquisition price to build, and you, you just can't make it work. Work. In my my opinion, what is the best asset to be in for the next five years? Easy. Yeah. B and C multifamily. Yeah. Affordable housing. Yeah. So if you can't build it, then then you have to find or work with people who know how to source it and then reposition it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've aligned ourselves to do in this project is to be part of some uh, part of a sponsor's project to reposition a B level asset. Right. And our plan is to do three, four of these a year. Mm -hmm. It's going to give uh, you guys an opportunity to uh, uh, still be the bank, get a guaranteed interest return during the project. So you'll be able to collect interest during the project mm -hmm. and then get a bonus at the end plus, plus your uh, investment back uh, when the event takes place. And what we mean by an event it's either the project's either going to be sold or it's going to be refinanced. Yep. Uh, those are the, the two events that could take, take place. Um, these types and what we're doing is, uh, again, it's a debt offering. Uh, you're, you're, you're loaning the fund money, essentially. Yeah, you're loaning the fund money. The fund is then pushing yes. it into the project. So, mm -hmm. th so th this is uh, good for IRAs because... Um, you're not getting any tax breaks for these because right. you're the lender. Uh, and so if you do it in a uh, uh, any kind of self-direct tax deferred mm -hmm. or tax exact example, mm -hmm. then it's going to be very, very beneficial. Yeah. And you, and you, like, like Bill said, uh, there is a guaranteed return that's paid along the way. 
it's paid out quarterly. Um, so if you are looking for cash flow, there there is a component to it as well. Um, so not you don't have to have a self directed IRA sure. or a solo four hundred one k or anything like that to invest in here. It can be cash. You speak just whatever you're looking for. If you're looking looking for um, that cash flow, then it will provide it as well. And, it and just what's won't... that minimum going to be? The minimum is going to be a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. And then let me ask you this question. I was talking with somebody on Wednesday with Wendy yesterday. Uh, she is a certified financial planner, but she doesn't quite get to the accredited investor. She's status. already accredited. Look, and why is that? Because she's a certified financial planner. Yeah, they're looking for people with a certain uh, net worth or pe people that consider uh, sophisticated uh, Investors. financial uh, minds. So who are and some of the people that fall in that? Financial like planners, CPAs. CPAs. Uh, some tax attorneys, attorneys would go in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah fund man fund manager. If you work for a company that does fund management, I think you and, would and still... you're an and you're an integral part. Yeah, of mm -hmm. fund management. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, All that's interesting stuff. Well. If you yeah. have your own fund, you're a, you're an investor. Yeah, so if, if you if, obviously know how they work. Gotcha. Yeah, if, <laughs> if you have like a small family fund or a syndication that you did two years ago. You qualify. Yeah, that's really good that they made those changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, when they were, we were first talking about changes to those rules, those accredited investor rules, we were concerned that they were going to up the net worth uh, part of it. Which yeah. is sitting at which, one million. Which, which would be uh, tough, tough. Yeah. The income level and the net worth part. But so they, if, didn't, they if, left it the same. If you, if you have a million dollar net worth, excluding your primary residence, you are an accredited investor. Or if you're single and you've made two hundred thousand last two years, you're an accredited investor. Or if you're married, you've combined for three hundred thousand thousand last two years, you are an accredited investor. Right. Or if you're one of those qualified, um, like certified positions, like CPA, tax accountant, you know. Yeah, Series sixty-seven and sixty-five. Yeah, um, if you have your if you if you broker, have, uh, broker's license, will allow you to get in there. Get in there as well. Mm -hmm. And these are stock uh, brokers, not real estate. Brokers. Right. <laughs> yeah. Real estate agent doesn't that. quite cut it. Or all those brokers. <laughs> yeah, all brokers. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's all good stuff. But yeah. So, but no, the, no, these um, allow you to diversify what you're involved in. It's, you know, we all like single family homes. Uh, we all like, um, you know, storage, but, but also get into multifamily. We can get into senior living. I mean, we, where people don't get younger, they only go one way. That's so, right. That's right. <laughs> senior living well, is well. It's two ways, but the one way <laughs> is kind of a stop point. But... Well, there's there's a stop. Yeah, there's a stop point. <laughs> so if I want to invest money in this, what are some of the questions that I should be asking? What are what are the things that are important to me? Do I care where it's located? What type of product it is? Who the who who the players are? Are um, the length that what what is it that I should be asking? So you know some of the good questions would be like where is it at? You know the geography. You know if it's in you know North Dakota, it's probably not the best. Yeah. Yeah. Off. Um, nothing against North Dakota. North Dakota really cold there. Um, <laughs> well, it would have been a good place if um, the fracking was still going on. Well, that's yeah, that's true. That's true. But now that that part is slowed down. <laughs> Probably not so much. You're looking for looking for growth growth areas, and then one of the the key of like piece for me is the sponsor, the person who is managing that right. project day in and day out. Uh, so I, we, we have seen over over the, de the decades, we've seen good sponsors turn awful projects into winners. Mm -hmm. yep. I never. <laughs> Well, that's not true. Very rarely have I seen a really bad, bad sponsor, you know, turn a bad project into a good one. Like right. it just it it just comes down to how sophisticated are they? How savvy are they? What's their track record? Uh, the one that we're that we're working with here has a tw twenty five year track oh, record. Oh, record. Um, great reputation. Great, yeah, big fan. integrity. Yeah. So it, that's the only <clears> people <throat> that we choose to align ourselves with are the people who. Uh, mirror the things that Who we make like. us look good. Yeah. Well, make <laughs> us look good, but mirror those like, you know, yeah, they, yeah, they, they, you. they do the right thing mm -hmm. every, every time. Like that's, you know, that's very important to us. So it's very important for those people who we align ourselves with. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is actually the second one we've done for him. And uh, the first one is almost completed. 
Okay, so let me ask, <laughs> me ask you this, to this. Um, if, if I'm already in the fund, I'm in Carolina uh, Capital Reserve Fund, can thank, I take my you, money? Thank you for being in it. No. And, and can I take my money the and only, switch it to this new one? The, the, the only people that are going to be able to redeem money and put it into that fund are people that have already on the list to redeem their money. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, it's it's supposed to be for additional funds. Yeah. Come up with some new stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. And, and these are small offerings. So, you're, you're probably going to be limited with... 10, 12 people. That's a great question. I was going right. to ask that question. How many people will I be sharing at a hundred thousand a piece? How many people be in this fund? Uh, we're going to have a max of a max of probably 30 people max, but I don't think it'll be that many. Um, I think, you know, typically for something like this, we'll be somewhere between that 15 and 20. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you know, you know, there are the spots, um, you know, hundreds, the, the minimum, um, the maximum is actually uh, one million, so you um, you can't put more than a million in. Uh, <laughs> put, not that everyone, everyone would, but some people that have been asked that question. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we you know to control everything, we can't have too much allocated to one person. One, right. Yeah. So the, the reason we wanted to talk about this particular particular launch and launches like it is because this gives, uh, like we were saying earlier, this gives people. Uh, Excellent opportunity to diversify mm -hmm. Geo geographically, number right, one. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then, I mean, there are syndication offering, offerings where there's uh, equity involved. And in, in those cases, when there's equity involved and you're getting a piece of the upside, it's always going to depend on whether there's upside or not. Yeah. But when you're, when you're on in a debt offering, what you're getting is guaranteed. Yeah. So yeah. if there is no upside... It doesn't matter. The managers like us and the sponsor are the ones that are going to be we, taking the hit. We eat right. that. Yeah. You, guys, you guys are guaranteed. <laughs> we don't like that. <laughs> yeah. The, the way the water, way the water falls is uh, if there's a senior, if there's senior debt on that, which would just be like a primary lender, which would be a bank or maybe a CMBS lender of some sort, uh, they would be paid off first. Then next in line is all the, inv the investors into this syndication and their, their principal then the next piece is all their interest, if anything, if anything's due. Then the next piece is us. And then the next piece is the sponsor. So so we and the sponsor At don't the make don't ball. make any money until everybody else has been paid off yeah. in full. 